Hi, dyslexic genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What this is about is I'm going to buy my first phonograph. And what do I buy? Well, I'm going to show you Victor machines. There's a whole gamut of different machines. But a Victor machine plays a 78 record, which are extremely available everywhere. You want to make sure that all the veneer has no chips, no gouges. Victor made console machines like this. They made a Victor 11 all the way up to a Victor 20. But they also made a tabletop machine like this, Victor 12. Usually, you find a machine, you go, okay, there's no alligatoring, everything's here. So what am I looking at? You have the crank, which is on a machine right here. You want to crank the machine all the way up. If you hear any thumping, slipping, choo -choo noises, you know there's a spring problem. This thing right here, is a reproducer. Reproducer looks like this. You want to make sure that whatever phonograph you're buying, if you're buying a Victrola, you want to make sure that the reproducer says Victrola. It doesn't say Sonora or something else. How do I turn it on? Well, First, you put the needle in, which goes in this little hole right here. You crank it up. You put a record on if you're looking at one, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and there's a little lever right here. And you turn it on. After you've cranked it all the way up, you go, okay, it started. I don't, I don't have to turn it on and give it a spin. You should be able to turn it on and let the motor run. And you go, how does this sound? Well, you always close the lid when you're testing. And this sounds very good. But now we get confused. Victor made a whole bunch of different numbers and letters on machines, and they the higher the number, the more the machine was. If you're looking at a Victor Lowboy 210, that was a $100 machine. If you're looking at a Victor 440, you say, what is that? That's an orthophonic machine, which means it has a bigger horn and a different reproducer. And now I will go, this is an acoustical machine, and the 440 is an acoustical machine, but they had a much bigger horn. So let me show you the difference in the sound. This is a Victor 835. These were 400 new. But a Victor Granada, which was a 440, was 150 new. And they were wonderful machines. And we used to own a 440 and love the machine. And they have a much better sound than the console machines because this is an orthophonic. This operates the same way, it has a little lever here on the side, we can see this. Right here where my finger is. So let's turn this one on, and I've cranked it up, made sure there's no slipping noises. So we're going to run the reproducer over here, and now you can hear the tone test difference. sound out of an orthophonic. So if you're looking and you say, 
I'm looking at this Victor 210, which is a low boy nice machine, or I'm looking at this Granada, which is a nice machine, and let's say both machines are $300. My personal preference would be to buy the Granada because it's an orthophonic, it has a bigger reproducer, it has a much better sound. This is an orthophonic machine. If you like the 210, buy the 210. They're both wonderful machines. They're both middle class machines. But you have to know how to operate. Always crank the photograph up. Crank it all the way up. Make sure there's no clunking noise, gear noise, slipping sounds on these things when you're buying your first photograph. If you're buying your first photograph, you want to go with one that plays 78s. Because if you look at an Edison, Edison only plays an Edison record, the big thick diamond disc ones, unless you buy the 78 adapter, which costs you more money. With this machine and these records, they're available everywhere. Goodwill, antique stores, eBay, wherever. You know, this hobby is a lot of fun. I'm trying to point out some nice things for you, and that's my tip for the day.